Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something really untypical for my channel. I'm actually gonna sit you in front of me and let you get ready with me in a tutorial. We're actually talking through the steps rather than just putting a voiceover on top and music and calling it a day. Um, I'm filming today with like my old favorites, but also have some new goodies that I want to try. So hopefully it will be kind of interesting. Plus I've been away for a little bit, so I want to keep in the loop what's happening. And yeah, so if you want to see what I put on my face, then keep watching. <laughs> Alright, so I have on my face currently an oil. I use the Aveda Beautifying Oil, which has been my holy grail lately in my routine. Um, I'm gonna tell you later why, but yeah, it's really nice and like gives a very flawless finish on the skin if you let it absorb a little bit. So that's why I have them on my skin now. And now I have to choose a foundation, which I don't even know where I put it. You know what? Let's just use I'm gonna use the. Oh, I'm gonna make so much noise in this video. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Studio Fix by MAC. My shade is NC25. Which is a little bit orange, but we'll make it work. I've been tanning a little bit, so my skin is a little bit on the darker side. Well, that's what I like to think. <laughs> and uh, the brush I'm going to use with it is actually the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush, which has been my fave when it comes to foundation. And I'm just literally, I need to really get to get a pump for this foundation, but right now I'm just like putting it directly on the brush. And I'm just going to grab a mirror somewhere. Come here, Bobby Brown, you'll be my mirror of the day. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of buff it into the skin. Um, my boyfriend Danny, who I'm sure most of you will know about, if not, I'll link to our boyfriend tag video downstairs in the description bar. And, um, but yeah, we are actually looking for an apartment to move in together. And that has been a challenge as well. <laughs> so all together, just been a lot of stuff happening. We went to Croatia to see my family a little bit. Um, about a month ago so that's been lovely but again you know you're not in your environment where you can film I also I film my videos at my boyfriend's house and everything and it's just a hassle to set up and everything so right now like my main priority when we're looking for houses is to find somewhere where I can have a really easy makeup setup where I can just do my thing you know not have to spend first an hour getting ready and setting up everything in order to start a video because with like my lifestyle I know it's just gonna be very hard to you know get back to a filming regime because I can see it by myself right now so yeah by the way if you're thinking like this color is a little bit orange it blends really well into like my body and neck because I started tanning a little bit but I'm always really careful when I'm tanning not to tan my face because I have sensitive skin there I had acne before and I was terrified of anything that might like ruin the condition of my hair, uh, skin so that's about it but yeah I love this foundation because it has really really full coverage good good coverage I have one really stubborn pimple here but I guess I'll stay there and uh, yeah but as you can see it also has quite of a natural finish it's not really matte it's not really glowing it just it's nice especially layered with that oil underneath it it's lovely Alright, next I'm going to use my uh, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is the shade number 2, which is Cool Medium. Um, normally I would use one if I really want to highlight, but today I want to keep it kind of a very natural bronzy look. Well, natural, we all know what that means, but still, you know, a little bit something not so very glammed up with the contouring and highlighting, so just something very healthy. Um, but yeah, plans for today. Today I'm actually going to see my old friends I haven't seen in a while. And uh, then later on, I'm going to a water polo with uh, Danny because he's training. So I like doing that because he's been working as well really lately a lot. So we both have been really busy. And it's kind of hard like to get time to like just you know spend time together and stuff. So I like to like if he has practices or games to come sometimes with him, just to like hang out with him at least like talk to him in the car <laughs> and stuff. But yeah. So that's pretty much what's been happening so far. Alright, so this concealer as you can see is pretty much like my color. It's nothing too crazy about it or anything. But I love the formula of these ones. I've used the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer I think for like three years now. And it's like my holy grail. I know a lot of people don't like it around the eyes, but for some reason I love it. I think it really lasts well and it blends well and the texture looks very much skin-like. So I really like it. Um, we finished with that. What do we sh shall we do brows? Should we do not brows? I don't know. Let's do brows. Um, normally, because it's been so freaking hot, I have not been really into 
doing anything too crazy with my brows. I skip my brow pencils or anything like that. So what I actually do is I take an eyeshadow, and this is from MAC, it's the shade called um, Choco Brown. And it's a holy grail again, I've used it for a long time before, and I use it now again. If I can just find a brush for it. Found it! Okay, I'm gonna use the Sigma again, this is the E65 brush, it's just like a small angle brush. If you don't use these brushes, you can find so many other ones at the drugstore. Real Techniques makes some really good brushes at the drugstore, by the way. But I'm literally, I'm not doing anything crazy, I just want to slightly fill in any sparse areas that I might have. Just kind of fill it in a little bit. Nothing crazy, because my brows are quite thick, so I don't need a lot. Normally, like day to day, I'll just use a brow gel. But today, because we're filming, I like to be a little bit extra. <laughs> kind of like, just fill in the sparse areas and call it a day. Normally for like day-to-day -day stuff, yeah, I'll just use um, an eyebrow gel because it's just easy. And I'm actually going to do that now. I'm going to use my Benefit Gimme Bra, which has been my holy grail. Benefit makes some really good eyebrow products, so that's really, really great. So, I'm just going to pop that on. I'm actually going to film another video after this video. That's why I wanted also to look a little bit nicer. Um, I'm going to fill like my favorite beauty gadgets because I've been using some things that are like so good. It was my birthday on the 16th of May and so I got a really good curling iron that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to feature that. And then I've done an event with Panasonic where they gave us something really exciting. And I've been using it non-stop and it made such a big difference to my skin that I just want to show you. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Right, so now I'm contouring with my Too Cool For School Art Class by Roding Shading Bronzer. I got this from a Korean website a very long time ago, but as you can see, it's very well loved. And I just used the darker shades on my Sigma F37 brush. Just to kind of like give a bit of shade underneath my cheekbones, just because my face is really, really round. So this way I get a little bit of dimension in there. So I just put a little bit of powder on my jawline because I went a little bit heavy handed with the bronzer so I just want to, you know, a little bit make it fade a little bit better. And in the meantime we're going to get to the eyes and I'm actually going to do just a really simple eye look today. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Pink Quartz, um, this is the shimmer brick and um, they have just some really pretty shades so I'm just going to mix them a little bit and pop them on my E55 brush and um, yeah just apply it on the eyelids. I just want a really simple shimmering eye, nothing too crazy so. We're just gonna do that. I think a bronze look with, with a little bit of a tanner skin, I think bronze just looks really, really pretty. So that's what I'm doing today. Hopefully you guys can see what a beautiful shine this gives. I love this product. Sometimes if I'm feeling like really, really in need of looking glowing and healthy, I'll pop this thing all over my cheeks and it just gives the most amazing glow. Especially because this is more of a, like a pinkier color, so. Alright, so next I'm going to add a little bit of depth in the crease and I'm going to use my old version of the Sigma E40 brush because if you look at the new one, it's so much like not so fluffy and I love my blending brushes to be like really really round and fluffy. So this is how they normally look when you first get them and then this is how they look when they're a little bit like washed and older and I love I love them both. This one is better than currently for like precision whereas this one is better for blending so I'm going to do this one first because I want just a very simple like brown in the crease that will just give a little bit of depth. I just don't know what I want to use. Um, oh, I have like I literally didn't have any plan for today. I was just like I'm just gonna wing it, but now I'm struggling with my. Oh, I know what I'm gonna use. Just saw it. <laughs> I'm gonna use my heroin eyeshadow from Ila Masca for the good old times. This is the yeah, this is this is the best. Um, transition shade you can find if you're paler even if you're not I'm not really pale right now but it will work really well for me so I'm just gonna pop it into the crease a little bit and as you can see it just gives a really natural shadow in there well I hope you can see so I'm just blending it kind of on the brow bone like the upper part of my crease just because my eyes are really really closed up now because of the hay fever so I want to just keep them a little bit more open Looking bright, so that's all I want to do today. I love the shadow. I forgot how good it is. If you just look at the difference, how much like smoother and more faded this eye looks compared to this one. It's just like 
don't know. I see a difference and I love it, so I'm just gonna do the same now on this eye. Should I put a little bit of darker color in the outer corner? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the other E40 brush now from the copper set and I'm gonna go back in the charcoal brown, which is the eyeshadow I use for my eyebrows. Just a little bit on the brush and I'm just gonna get it into the outer corner. Just a little bit in there for some extra dimension. And then later on I might pop this color as well on my lower lash line I think. I think it will tie it in well together. Kind of also flicking it outwards a little bit to like kind of make it a little bit cut eye shape. Alright, that looks decent, yeah? We'll go with it. Let's now do the same thing on the other eye. Alright, so I'm kind of happy with that, it looks decent, I'm okay. Um, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I'm gonna skip eyeliner shockingly today. I normally always wear a wing, but today we're just gonna pop on a lot of mascara. Mainly because I have hay, hay fever and my eyes have been watering like crazy. So I just wanna stick to mascara. I won't be able also to wear eye, um, eyelashes. So I'm just gonna try and give myself the biggest, boldest eyelashes I can get. And I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Fall Slash Superstar. X fiber mascara. This is the like one step and second step thing. So I prefer the first step because the other one is like a fiber step, but I just find the fibers getting in my eye and making me like really want to itch my eyes, which is no good because I have that sensation anyway because of hay fever. So I'm just gonna use step one because that mascara is amazing. Alright, so I'm happy with that. Um blush, I'm even tempted to use this one, but I want to use a different highlighter, it's quite natural. I think it will be too intense if I use this one. I might, I might, I might. Uh, ooh, I'm gonna use Dusty Rose by NYX. This used to be like the only blush I would ever use. And I still use it loads, so. Good blush. And I'm using the Sigma Large Angled Contour, the F40 brush. And I just kinda like smile, get that apple of the cheek out. <laughs> and just kinda apply it a little bit higher almost on the cheekbone because it kind of gives an illusion of high cheekbones as well. I love this color because it's quite subtle. It almost looks like you're just kind of blushing from within, which I know so many people use that term, but it really looks like that, so... And now I'm going to move on to the highlighter, which today I'm going to use... These are the shimmer, um, like shimmer, loose shimmers from Sigma, but they also do glitters, so it's like loose powder, let's just call it like that. And the shade I'm using today is Ravishing, which is just like a very pale champagne color, and normally because they're powders they get everywhere, which I don't like, but they just look so nice that I can't resist, so I'm just gonna use whatever is in the lid, just shook a little bit in there. And for my brush, I'm gonna use the F03 brush, this is a high cheekbone highlighter brush. And I lost my mirror. Okay, found it again. <laughs> and what I do is basically I just take the little lid and I kind of swirl it inside of it, shake it off in the lid, and then I just pop it onto the cheekbone. Oh wow. I love this one because it's, a, I don't know how to explain it, it looks like a satin highlight. So it doesn't look like chunks of um, highlight. It's more like a just a sheen, but like a natural looking sheen. It's not foiled or anything like that, which I don't personally like highlighters that are very foil because I think they look very fake. This one looks very nice and subtle. And then finally on my lips, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Kiko Milano lipstick in the shade number one, which is just one of my favorite nudes I have. If I'm a little bit fair, I like using Myth by MAC, but now it will just look too horrible on me, so I just like this one because it's a little bit more of a creamy formula. And that pretty much wraps up the look. I can take off my ponytail now. Oh, 
liberation to the hair. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, nothing too crazy, just a little bit of like a bronzy look on the eyes. Ooh, that was my phone. A little bit of something different, a little bit, I don't know, a little bit something natural where I don't use crazy eyelashes, the super crazy lips. I like this look, I think it's quite natural, with a nice glow. I like it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see the videos that I have in plan after this. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!